Hey guys, this is Chris from Empire Bricks and welcome to another Lego haul video. So this haul video is pretty fast after the last one, but um, the parts for Seed came in, another set came in, plus there's a lot of stuff coming up. I'm really busy preparing all the content that I need to make this month. Um, just lots of cool stuff. So I really wanted to show you guys this so I can move on with the bricks and start building cool stuff to show you. So let's start with the first one. This is actually a uh, Bricklink order, um, mostly or only Theed. So um, let's start with opening this one up and just put this out of the way for a second. And all right, so here it is. This is one of the better packaged Bricklink orders that I have seen in a while. Um, so let's get through it. There is a whole bunch of these one by three uh, slopes. Um, I think they're sand green. Um, I was kind of guessing if this was the right color for the roofs of uh, Theed, giving that um, oxidized copper look. Uh, but I think this is perfect. There is lots of them. I'm not sure if I'm going to use these or uh, if there are bigger slopes, but um, it's hard enough to get these. So I figured one by three would do. And if I can find um, broader ones, then that's great. But for now, these will have to do. Um, window panes um, for Theed as well. Um, especially the Theed Palace has white window panes. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to put in them um, as far as glass or anything else. But um, I guess these will do for now. I can at least use them to start building uh, and getting some walls done for the city of Theed. So that's great to have these. I have these larger ones and some different smaller ones so I can make different combinations which I think will look great. Um, there is some um, dark flesh uh, masonry bricks. So these are the 1x2 bricks with the masonry pattern inside. Um, I'm not sure if this is the correct color but I think I'm going to use them at some point in some of the uh, walls of Theed. Um, if not, then I will be taking these to my Lego city in Sweden and see what I can do with them there. But, you know, I really love these masonry bricks, so there was a good deal on them. Um, there is uh, these uh, corner slopes, three by three. They are, of course, to match up with these so I can make um, the roof. So there wasn't any more than this, uh, so this will have to do, but I hope I can actually make a decent roof and some uh, picket fencing for my Lego city because most of the fences that I have there are old and yellowed and well they need replacing so this is great to have for the city and I might even use some of them in Theed as well. It's great how Lego city stuff actually goes pretty well with Theed. Um, more masonry bricks but dark blue is gray. They are just in case this color is, a, is the wrong color and I figured that dark blue is gray um, might work as well if needed. So there's, you know, about 70 of them. Um, same story though, if these don't work out for the, they'll go into my Lego city somewhere to make maybe a park or a mock or something like that. Um, having said that, may, maybe just let me know if you would like to see some mocks in the Lego city as well. I might consider doing those even though the time is kind of scarce. Um, here is a whole bunch of these two by two Dark blue is gray tiles and some other size dark blue is gray tiles to complement them. They're actually to make a sidewalk in my Lego city, but um, they also might come in very handy for Theed as well. Um, so I might use some of them in the huge square that I need to build. Um, having said that, talking about the square, here is 283 of these 2x2 dark templates. So these will form the big majority of the uh, Theed City Square. Um, I um, was actually asked during, uh, or in the comments of the last Theed episode, if I could time lapse as well. So I'll be trying to do that um, and put in all of these, start building. So uh, I will definitely try to get a time lapse done for my uh, Theed mock, which is the first time that I will do a time lapse for a mock. So that's pretty awesome. I'm really excited. So I'll be filling in the square with lots of these and maybe some of these to, you know, make it look a bit weathered. And also I have some of these modified 2x2 plates with um, studs in the middle. Um, and those are meant to hold 
the people and vehicles that will be in this square. So I'll have to look at the screenshot that I took of the episode one movie and see where the people are sort of walking and try to uh, make these uh, go in the correct places. So that's this order. There is the parts list for this order, but that's it for this order. So um, yeah, lots of you know bricks and tiles. Uh, so kind of the same stuff, but still this will make a huge progress uh, in the mock. And I'm really looking forward to start building and doing a time lapse for you guys. So up to the next box, which actually came in a bit damaged. Um, I think that's not the fault of the sender though, but of the uh, postal company. But what's in here is set 7155, the Trade Federation AAT. This is the actual first 2000 or the year 2000 uh, AAT. And I'm gonna be using this for the seed mock um, because I already have the blue one, um, but this is the one in the, in the correct color, at least for um, episode one, so the movie. Um, and there's another one, but it, it's an, it's a newer one, I think it's from last year. It's also in tan, but it's horribly, horribly uh, sized. The size is incorrect, the pieces are incorrect. It's, it just looks horrible. It almost looks like a micro fighter. Um, so I'm not gonna use that, I'm gonna use this. Uh, I might even consider trying to get one more, but these are pretty hard to get. Uh, but I got a good deal on this one, I think it was 20 bucks. Um, so as you can see, it is in pieces, but at least uh, the colors look good. The print is still you know, pretty much intact. Uh, there is one, oh, so there is one extra battle droid in here, um, even though there should be two, I think. But if that is the case, then I'm just simply missing one. That's too bad, but, um, I've got enough droids to to work with. So um, that's this haul. Uh, most of this stuff is going into Theed, so I will be trying to do an update as soon as possible. I'm kind of strapped for time because this month, um, I can actually tell you the uh, UCS Millennium Falcon is coming out, which I will be definitely trying to get um, as soon as it comes out. Uh, I have to do uh, an update on Theed. There is... Um, it has been half a year now since my last Imperial Army video. It has grown quite a lot so I will be trying to do that as well which means I have to build a lot of sets um, so there's tons and tons of stuff to do and not so much time so without further ado I'll be starting to work on all that um, thank you guys for watching if you like this video please like comment and subscribe to my channel and I will see you at the next video